A lot of people have a lot to say about your character and what has happened this season. I kind of want to break it down with you, so we're going to start with the season finale. Okay. Uh, the ending, when there's almost a school shooting, your character shows up with the gun, um, but Clay prevents it from happening. How do you feel about that being the cliffhanger, and what do you think it says about your show with everything that's happening right now with school shootings and gun control? Yeah, I think that the topic is very... Um, unfortunately, it's very current, and I think that was the goal with the show, is to bring these sensitive and troubled issues into a mainstream. Our show is its a fictional story, it's a cautionary tale. Clay Jensen is a character that makes mistakes, and he doesn't always do the right thing. He acts on his own sense of justice, and he acts on impulse, especially that scene at the end. He's just lucky that it happens to work out. These are not things that we're trying to tell the audience, this is what you should do in these scenarios. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, that, that is the character of Clay Jensen. I mean, this isn't exactly a character that makes the smartest decision. Tyler, please, just, just listen to me. You, you, you don't want to do this. I want to talk about another scene that's been very controversial, and that's, of course, the bathroom. This one is. You, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it like for you as an actor to take that on? Did you have any reservations? And how do you feel about, there's a lot of backlash right now. Do you think it's warranted? Uh, as an actor for the scene, um, I felt a lot of responsibility to accurately portray the, the pain and the, I guess, the humiliation that one can go through when they're assaulted in this way, especially with the stigma around sexual assault with men, um, and especially in this age of kind of toxic and fragile masculinity, I think that plays a big part in, um, in, in this idea of men being raped. Is That's not something that people think about a lot, and then as a male character, what does that feel like for you in a society where you're told that this shouldn't happen to you? And not that it should happen to anybody, but that this can't happen to you, but it does. What does that do to you on a mental level, um, as well as, you know, physically, obviously, and enormous amounts of pain? And then, you know, I think people are always going to have opinions on the show and, and what we do, but I think it's staying true to what the show has been about. And, you know, we can't sugarcoat it or censor it at all because that's not how these events happen. And I think it is this trying to portray and, and make people understand what happens in these in these unfortunate and, and tragic circumstances. Where do you think Tyler goes from here if there were to be a season three? You know, I think Jessica had a really amazing story this season in, in talking about how someone who goes through sexual assault like that, that road to recovery. I think it would be great to kind of see Tyler have some to have some recovery in there and like see him find himself and have that that support group around him as well. I think he has a lot of issues to work out. We see him go to a behavioral uh, camp during the season that specifically targets his anger issues, but that doesn't necessarily mean that those are the only issues that he's dealing with, especially now after his, his assault. Would you do a season three? If there's a story worth telling there, absolutely. Yeah.